So today we are going to read the chapter The Rebel by D. J. Enright. Over here you can see a picture of a little girl dressed up in the costume of almost a devil. Now, if you have a costume party and you're a girl, what would you like to be? Most girls would find it very much attractive to be a princess, to be a Barbie, to be a queen, to be a fairy. But this girl, she decided to be a rebel and she dressed herself as a devil. Okay, so what is the definition of a rebel? Who is a rebel to you? One who rises in opposition. Opposition means opposite to you. What most of the people does, the rebel does exactly the opposite. So, someone who goes against most of the people is called a rebel. Now, you can see over here, this little girl riding and here it is written, no dogs, no bicycle and no swimming. But, you can see this little girl with a dog, with a bicycle and in a swimming costume. So, rebels are also found to be breaking many norms and rules and regulations. This is also a major criteria of the rebels. Now, rebels are those who create revolution. Here, you can find the picture of two eminent personalities of Indian freedom struggle. Here we have Netaji Shubhas Chandra Bose and over here we have Bhagat Singh, Sudev and Rajguru. All of them were the rebels who created revolution for the freedom struggle of India. At the time when nobody thought of going outside and bringing up an army and then attack to the British India at that time, Netaji did that. When nobody was thinking against going the British against the British going against the British the uh, Bhagat Singh Sukhdev and Rajguru made an explosion in the uh, hall in the parliament hall and wanted the whole nation to know that they are there to break the rules and go against the British people they created revolution all over the country so we can call them rebels over here I would also like to name another person who is my personal favorite that is Lady Diana. She is Lady Diana. Now she has revolted in her own small ways. This is also a revolution. Revolution, it does not always mean a huge uh, change that you bring forward. Revolution can be started from very small things also. Revolution needs ideas and a clear thinking, however small it may be. Lady Diana was a princess and she was also the Queen of England. And as in the royal family, it was not allowed for the royal kids to go in schools or colleges and study there. They were taught in home by the tutors, home tutors. But Lady Diana said that her child, Charles and William, over here you can see her child, Charles and William would go to school and normal colleges, normal schools and normal colleges. And she protested against it. And not only that, she protested against each and every baseless reasons and baseless ideas of the royal family. And that is why she became a rebel for the royal family. She can be an example of a rebel. Over here, we have the poetry. When everybody has short air, hair, the rebel lets his hair grow long. When everybody has long hair, the rebel cuts his hair short. When everybody in the group is having short air, hair, the rebel would grow his hair long. And when everybody is having long hair, the rebel would say, no, I would prefer hair short. When everybody talks during the lesson, the rebel doesn't say a word. Everybody is trying to discuss a lesson, but the rebel is not saying a word. Now everybody has stopped discussing about something. Now the rebel start discussing or disturbing others. Like when nobody talks during the lesson, the rebel creates a disturbance. Okay. Now it is saying that when everybody wears a uniform, the rebel dresses in fantastic clothes. Okay. Say for example, uh, everybody decided for a party that all of you are going to wear something blue. The rebel would come up wearing something white and would say that no i am not interested in wearing something blue i went to war wear something white and when everybody is saying no let's wear white 
she would say no i want to wear something party wear kind of a dress or she can he can even say that i am going to wear fluorescent color dress these are rebellious attitude when you or the person actually tends to go against the group as all of you have seen in that picture in the first slide where you have blue colored fishes going on all in one direction and a small red colored fish going in the opposite direction that small red colored fish is our rebel over here the rebel in the company of dog lovers the rebel expresses a preference for cats when everybody is saying oh puppies they are so cute the dogs are so nice then the rebel would say but cats are also very nice okay and in the company of cat lovers the rebel puts a good word for dog and when everybody is saying the cats are really nice creatures we should all have cats as our pets then the rebel come up and said but the dogs are also very faithful and they are also cute okay so when everybody is saying something the rebel is supposed to say something else okay next example is when everybody is praising the sun the rebel remarks on the need for rain when everybody is saying oh what a beautiful warm sunshiny day the rebel says no i think it should rain rain is far better than the sun okay when everybody is greeting the rain everybody is happy oh there is beautiful rain drizzling outside the rebel comes up and say but i miss the sun the sun was better i think okay then he the, uh, the poet is saying when everybody goes to the meeting the rebel says at home and reads a book when everybody is partying around socializing going uh, to different people's houses and having fun and the uh, the rebel would like to stay at home and read when everybody is staying at home that person would like to go out and uh, enjoy okay when everybody says yes please the rebel says no thank you when everybody say everybody loves pizza so somebody is offering pizza so everybody saying oh yes please we can have it the rebel says no uh, thank you i don't need it okay now if somebody is giving you uh, something bitter to uh, drink or to eat and the rebel everybody saying no no thank you we don't want it and the rebel says yes please give me that thing that kind of a person is a rebel now that coming to lines sums up all the things that we have learned about rebel the last two lines of the poem which is very important you can just underline this last two lines it says it is very good that we have rebels because what is the reason you may not find it very good to be one why it is good to have rebels around the society because there are many norms and regulations which we need to see from a different perspective and the rebel does that work say for example previously in when the voting system started voting was not allowed for the women but there was there must be one rebellious woman who protested against it and who motivated the other women to protest against it from where started the feminism and they she told others that why we are also human beings we are also similar creatures why won't we have the right to vote and from there was a, a change created in the society so the rebels are very good to have rebels around us who gives us a different perspective of life and sometimes a fruitful change in the society in the future and the last line says you may not find it very good to be one you may not you may think that okay i'll be a rebel whatever everybody says i'll say the opposite thing that does, that is not a good thing because uh, for being a rebel you have to always break rules and regulations and our society is very cruel to those who breaks rules and regulations you can take netaji subhash chandra bose you can take bhagat singh we don't even know about how netaji subhash chandra bose died and about bhagat singh we all know what happened to him we all know that lady diana died in a car, car crash which is still mystery so society is not very welcoming to the rebel whenever we break rules we have the society never forgives us and we have to pay it with our lives so it is better not to be a rebel because the life of a rebel becomes very difficult and very tough one and it is also not always necessary to be a rebel say for example everybody in the class is passing and you think no i should be a rebel i should fail that is also not good so you should keep that thing in mind i hope this poetry is clear to you so here are the various things i would list down for you where you can be a rebel according to me where the small rebellious acts you should do 
Number one, if everybody is asking for good food like pizza, uh, chicken or something like that, go ahead and ask for nothing. Be a rebel. Never ask from anything. When the children of your age are asking for so many things, maybe good food, good clothes, good uh, technological gadgets and everything, don't ask for anything. You be that rebel over there. Okay. Next is, if everybody is telling that boys don't cry, when suddenly you feel like crying, go ahead and tell them. It is natural anybody can cry, but nobody should. He's saying that the, uh, you can even try this out. Even there are sometimes some instances where the boys are told that boys are not supposed to cry. But crying is a natural uh, phenomenon. Everybody when feels the pain in their heart feels like crying, whether it be boys or be, it be girls. So whenever next time you hear that, you say that, no, it is a natural phenomena. Anybody can cry. But if you are strong and you, you the, the, as the society is very much cruel to you, I don't think that you should show your weaknesses to people. So in that case, be a rebel and protest that don't say boys don't cry. Anybody can cry. Number three, if everybody is addicted towards mobile gaming, go ahead and be a rebel and stop wasting time in mobile and do something helpful and fruitful. Uh, usually, uh, children of your age who are in class six or seven are very much addicted to mobile gaming, socializing, WhatsApp, YouTube and what not. But you be the rebel and stop wasting your time in mobile. You do useful things. Maybe you, you can use the mobile or the computer to learn something new, to help other people in your family. Be fruitful to your loved ones. And that is how you are being a rebel, going against others. Everybody is wasting time in mobile. I am doing something fruitful. That is how I am being a rebel. Number four is read a lot and be a rebel so that if everybody just agrees to whatever they hear, you can be a rebel and bring out some true facts and real things to questions what you which questions what you learn. OK, so you should always update yourself with your things which you should always update yourself with new knowledge. Read a lot and know a lot so that you don't have to believe whatever everybody is believing that whatever you should always uh, if you think that you are not getting something, you are not understanding something, it is a very good habit to question. And whenever you question, you need to have a very clear idea, clear idea about everything. Okay. So for that, you need to read a lot. Okay. So reading a lot is also a rebellious attitude. By, by reading a lot, you can show a rebellious attitude. That is, when you are reading a lot, you can question a lot and question all the things that Everybody is believing without even posing a question. Okay. Number four is go and be a rebel. When everybody is afraid to protest against something that you think is wrong, you protest. Whenever you feel something is wrong going on against somebody around in the class or in the school or somewhere uh, between your friends, you be the rebel and protest against it. Many of the other people would be afraid of it, but you be the strong person and be a rebel and protest against that wrong if you think that something is going wrong against somebody. Okay. Now, question number, uh, now the point number six. If you find your friends being disrespectful, go ahead and be the rebel by making him understand, him or her understand his mistakes, not only to do complain. It's okay. So, what you should do whenever you find your uh, friends or your um, cousins or somebody of your age being disrespectful to somebody using slang languages, abusive words, you be the rebel and don't just complain about it to the elder ones. You should try to make your friend or your cousin or your sibling understand that how is it wrong to use those words or how is it wrong to be like that. Okay. So that is also an act which can be considered rebellious. Next is, if you think you can do something great, go ahead and be the rebel and do not think what others would say, just do it. Now, if you think that you want to do something, do not ever think that what other people will think. You always go ahead and be the rebel. Do that thing. Absolutely be fearless and do that thing. Be that rebel. If you feel that you are confident about doing that thing, you can definitely go ahead and do that thing being a rebel. OK, so here are various points that you should remember from the chapter. 
I'll just read this down, read, the, read, uh, read out this point for you. I have though explained this point to you, um, but still I will just read them out to you so that you can easily write them down in your copy. Dennis Joseph Enright is the full form of D.J. Enright, who was a British academic poet, novelist and critic. He authored various books and a range of essays, reviews and especially children's books and poems. A poet simply, the poet simplifies the personality of a rebel. He could not be noticed. He could be noticed and judged by his actions. Although it is negative trait as the person breaks the rules and shows totally opposite traits of what is expected. What is the personality trait of a rebel? He breaks the rules. See, person breaks the rules and shows totally opposite traits what is expected from him. He or she does not follow general rules and regulations. He challenges the society. Whatever the rules and regulations of the society, he always challenge that. These persons can be productive and socially useful too. How socially useful? They give us a different outlook of the life. As we have seen in the movie PK. PK was giving always a different outlook of the life. Like he was wearing stickers of Hanumanji and uh, other, other uh, gods on his face so that nobody can hit him. So he was utilizing the superstitions of human beings against them. Okay. So always the rebels gives us a productive and socially useful uh, outlook to our own norms and regulations. Number three is a rebel can be seen by his rebellious traits. Traits means features. For example, if the member of a society decide to have short hair, the rebel would have long hair. As a mark of revolt, he would bear short hair if everyone settles for long hair. When everybody during the talks uh, when everybody during the talks, he would keep everybody talks during the uh, different concerts or classes. There is a little mistake over here. He would keep silent. Whereas when everyone is expected to keep quiet, he would he won't stop talking and would disturb all. His attitude is obvious in dressing up too. He won't wear a uniform if everybody does. However, during celebrations and parties, they would dress in a sober way. When everybody is dressing elaborately like wearing uh, beautiful things, he would wear something very sober. And when everybody is wearing something sober, he would tend to wear something very elaborate and gorgeous. Next point is they take the conversation to a different level. If everybody talks to dog, talks about talks of dogs, they talk about cat and vice versa. And everybody is talking about cats, I would talk about dog. Rebels won't praise the sun for its warmth and light as everyone does. They would rather talk of rain. And when everybody welcomes rain, he would talk of the sun. Next is the ultimate motive of a rebel is to go aggressive. The time and wishes of everybody around. They goes aggressively opposite to everybody around them. Whatever the ideas and the norms and regulations of the whole society, they just tend to go opposite that. They prefer to remain alone when others are engaged in socializing or meetings. He would think of meeting when others feel to stay indoor and read their books. Similarly, or various issues, the rebel would be seen contradicting others and doing things that no one would be doing. So I hope this chapter.